Climate change is one of the most pressing challenges our world faces today. It causes hazards such as cyclones, drought, flood, increase in temperature, erratic rainfalls, sea level rise, and soil degradation that have both direct and indirect effects on farming communities. The changes in the climate greatly affect farmers who depend on weather conditions to manage their farms and increase their agricultural produce. These pose a great problem to countries in Southeast Asia whose economies and people often strongly depend on agriculture and natural resources to support its ever-growing population. Agricultural production is thereby affected, consequently endangering food security, ecological stability, and sustainable development of countries in Southeast Asia. Recognizing the importance of cooperation in addressing these emerging threats and impacts, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations has come together to strengthen resiliency of agriculture as a united response. In 2013, the ASEAN Technical Working Group on Agricultural Research and Development embarked on an initiative on the promotion of climate resilience in rice and other crops. This initiative was led by Thailand with support from the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development through the ASEAN German Program on Response to Climate Change in Agriculture and Forestry. The program is implemented by Deutsche Gesellschaft für Internationale Zusammenarbeit, or GIZ, in close cooperation with ASEAN. The initiative of Thailand led to the formation of the ASEAN Climate Resilience Network as a platform for knowledge exchange and cooperation. The ASEAN CRN is established to ensure that ASEAN member states are in a better position to adapt their agricultural sector to climate change and optimize its mitigation potential. The ASEAN CRN envisions itself as a capable and valued multi-stakeholder collaboration network for a sustainable, competitive, climate resilient agriculture in the ASEAN community by promoting climate resiliency through exchange of information expertise and experiences in climate smart agriculture among member states. Climate Smart Agriculture, Forest and Fisheries, or CSA, is defined by the Food and Agriculture Organization as the integration of the three dimensions of sustainable development, economic, social, and environmental, by jointly addressing food security and climate change. CSA is composed of three main pillars. 1. Sustainably increasing agricultural productivity and incomes. 2. Adapting and building resilience to climate change. 3. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions from agricultural production and processing. A number of CSA practices applied to food production are already being utilized by the ASEAN member states, which are proven to enhance climate resilience. Some of these CSA practices include model farming, crop management, stress-tolerant varieties, crop insurance, early warning and climate services. The ASEAN Climate Resilience Network functions as a knowledge exchange platform to promote these practices, among others, for wider adoption. It is successfully able to do so through partnerships with stakeholders and by linking policymakers to scientific institutions, universities, national and international organizations, and the private sector. The network has been instrumental in advancing the ASEAN Regional Guidelines on Promoting Climate Smart Agricultural Practices, which formalize the exchange of knowledge and information on CSA practices to enhance climate resilience and improve agricultural productivity in ASEAN. ASEAN member states have agreed that the ASEAN Climate Resilience Network will promote a common understanding on climate change and the agriculture sector and facilitate mutual learning, promote resiliency of agriculture within the region through the scaling up and scaling out of identified good practices and policies at member states level, identify common concerns and capacity needs and propose coherent regional support strategies, support ASEAN decision-making and implementation processes by providing inputs based on policy-oriented research results. The network advocates the global community, for example, international governance frameworks as the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change to help ASEAN 
invest in pilot implementation of climate resilient agricultural practices and generation of an evidence base regarding benefits. Develop and share experiences on successful models to scale up climate resilient practices to reach smallholder farmers. Provide opportunity and funding for capacity building and technical exchange among countries in the ASEAN CRN and working with existing alliances. Develop effective and efficient approaches to provide integrated, climate information-based services to marginalized farmers through information and communication technology. Integrate marketability and other value chain aspects into research on stress-tolerant varieties and consult with the private sector to ensure competitiveness of new varieties. The ASEAN CRN has so far facilitated activities such as Crops Insurance Knowledge Exchange among Vietnam, Philippines and Indonesia, Maize Seed Village between Laos and Thailand, Training of trainers on the use of climate information for farmers in Indonesia, Promotion of stress-tolerant rice varieties to increase climate resilience in Cambodia, Engaged national and international processes to ensure alignment of prioritized climate-smart agriculture measures, Securing partnerships and funds to implement, plan, and monitor climate-smart agriculture practices at the national and regional levels. The impact of climate change on agriculture in Southeast Asia affects the rest of the world in varying ways. Addressing these is a joint responsibility that requires collaboration among a variety of stakeholders from different sectors. The ASEAN CRN has produced a cohesive plan to address the myriad demands of climate change for agriculture, but needs cooperation and partnerships to fully realize it. The ASEAN CRN invites collaborative action to make agriculture more resilient for food security of the ASEAN region in the years to come.